Hi guys, this is Miss J. I'm going to read you a book called An Elephant Grows Up. It's written by Anastasia Swen and illustrated by Michael L. Denman and William J. Hewitt. This book is a nonfiction book, so it's going to tell you some true information or facts about how an elephant grows up. So let's get started. Welcome to the world of wild animals. Follow a baby elephant and her brother as they grow up under the hot African sun. As they become adults, they separate and have their own families. Under the hot African sun, a baby elephant is born. The calf, which is called the baby elephant, looks small next to her mother, but she weighs more than a refrigerator. A female elephant is called a cow and a male is called a bull. Less than an hour after birth, the elephant calf can stand. She is already taller than your kitchen table. The calf is hungry, so she nuzzles up to her mother to drink milk. Calves are covered in hair when they are born. Older elephants only have long hair at the ends of their tails. Mothers and their young stay together in one herd. Young adult males and older males roam by themselves or join small herds of other males. The herd stays in one place for several days after the calf is born. Once the new calf can walk, the herd will move on. Elephants often walk in single file lines along the trails. The calves walk behind or next to their mothers. Looking for food is a full-time job for elephants. They spend about 16 hours a day eating. They only sleep a few hours a day. The oldest cow in the herd leads the other elephants. She traveled these same trails when she was a calf. The long trail leads the elephants to a popular gathering place, which is where the elephants meet. The water hole. They visit the water hole at least once a day. At first, the calf uses her mouth to drink the water. As she grows older, the calf learns how to use her trunk. She sucks water into her trunk and then blows it into her mouth. An elephant's trunk is the elephant's nose and upper lip. Some young elephants suck their trunks like babies suck their thumbs. The calf grows up fast. She begins to eat plants like the older elephants. She also uses her trunk to grab leaves high in the trees. Mothers nurse feed milk to their calves for about two years. Only after the mother stops nursing will she have another baby. The calf uses her tusks, which are very long teeth, to dig for water. Some elephants use their right tusk more. Other elephants prefer their left tusk. It's just like being right-handed or left-handed. A new surprise has arrived in the herd. After four years old, the calf now has a baby brother. When full-grown, male elephants are much larger than female. African elephants are the largest land animals. Calves soon start to use their tusks for more than just digging. They use their tusk for resting their heavy trunks or ripping par- bark off trees. The tusks can also be used as weapons when needed. The brother and sister have grown a lot, but they are still growing. Most elephants keep growing until they are 30 or 40 years old. When the brother is about nine years old, he will join a different herd. The sister will stay with the cows and the calves in her herd and start a family. Bulls and cows live apart. At mating time, they call one another with low sounds that humans cannot hear. The elephant family continues to grow. The calf grew up and became a mother herself. She is now called a cow. Her brother also started a family in a different herd. He is now called a bull. A new journey begins under the hot African sun. A mother elephant always watches over her calf to make sure all is well. This is an elephant diagram. So the numbers pointing to the picture correlates to the description below. Number one is pointing to the ears. Ears. Elephants have their own air conditioning. As elephants flap their ears, the blood flow cools their body down. Number two is pointing to their feet. Although an elephant can weigh about 8,000 and 12,000 pounds, they can walk in complete silence. They rarely leave footprints. Number three is pointing to this elephant's skin. An elephant's skin is very sensitive. In fact, an elephant can feel a small fly landing on its skin. Number four is pointing to its trunk. The trunk of an elephant is the longest nose of any living animal. And number five is pointing to their tusks. Tusks are no different than ordinary teeth. This is the map. Right where it's highlighted, it says Africa. That is where wild elephants can be found in Africa and Asia. 
The elephants in this book are from Africa. At the bottom, you see a glossary. So a bull is a male elephant, a calf is a young elephant, a cow is a female elephant, a herd is a group of animals that live together, nurse means to dr drink milk from the mother, a trunk is the elephant's long nose and upper lip, and tusks are long pointed teeth that stick out of the elephant's mouth. The back of the book tells us where we can learn more. We can read more books about elephants to learn a little bit more about books. And you can search on the internet or on the web. There's also an index in here to help us find some words on the, in this book too. And down below, there's an, other books about wild animals. If you kind of liked reading this book, you can search for these books and read them. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about elephants. And if you learned something new, go ahead and drop it in the comments and let us know something new you learned. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.